In this video, we're going to be using Tallow and Steel Classic 2 and the Timeless Stainless Steel Slim Edition in the open comb. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. And today, again, we're going to be using the Timeless. This time, we're using the open comb ver version of their Stainless Steel Slim uh, Edition plate, which Timeless did send for evaluation. Really, really nice looking razor. We used the uh, standard or the safety bar version yesterday. I will link that video below. Today we're going with the OC, which is really nice looking, really slim. And so we look forward to having a great shave with that. Also today, we're gonna have a giveaway. Uh, we're gonna announce a giveaway, I should say, of the Tony Dillett 3D printed shaving bowl. Let me go ahead and show it to you real quick. This bowl is printed on a 3D printer. It takes about a full day to make these. It has a nice handle here for you to put your brush, nice aggressive ridges in there to make a great lather. And I have one that's set to the side here with my lather in it. I used it this morning for the first time. I was very impressed with it. Very lightweight, which I actually like in a bowl. You know, I don't want something real heavy when I'm sitting here making lather. And this one is light. Um, I would imagine it's fairly durable. Too. looks great he has many different colors i will link below uh his google order form these run i wrote it down 31 dollars 20 in the united states i'll link the google form below i'll link his email address below so if you're interested in buying one of these you can do that if you like and we're going to announce one for giveaway today so you're going to want to watch the video to find out how so here's what it looks like when you have your brush set in the stand this is the craving shaving Red Planet Handle with the Strike Gold Shave Executive Knot. And I've got the Tallow and Steel Classic 2 whipped up on here. Uh, and let me give you the details on that. The scent on this, this is a nice scent for me. Chris, Gar Chris Garcia sent this to me, a sample. Uh, moss, woods, let's put it right there for you. Moss, woods, herbs, spices, citrus. It's a really nice scent. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Uh, today, here are your ingredients. We got some good ingredients like argan oil, glycerin, vitamin E, vitamin e. so we look forward to using it today along with our Strike Gold Shave uh, Knot, Executive Knot. And again, there you see the handle. This is pretty nice bowl, I gotta say. Um, I'm fairly well impressed with it. So, let's get a blade loaded in our razor here today, which again, this is a brand new plate from Timeless. Timeless. They have the safety bar version and the open comb version. These are, again, I wrote notes because I always forget this information, wire cut. These plates are wire cut on an EDM machine. And then the rinse ports, which are right here, are CNC machine, mirror finish. Of course, I got fingerprints all over it right now. Um, 0.5 blade gap. It is marketed as aggressive. Now you can use these plates with your existing timeless razors. So I'm so glad that timeless decided Astra SP loaded up there, same one I used yesterday. Not to make a plate that required new heads and everything to, to go with. That That is being a good steward, in my opinion, just dumped my hand on the water there. That's being a good steward of your wallet. So allowing these plates to be used with all their other offerings, and I did put a little washer on there. Again, I get on, got into that a little bit yesterday. Go watch that video. And here we have loaded up, again, open comb, this is marketed as uh, aggressive. And you know, Thomas always sends things in magnificent packaging. They have usually microfiber cloth, nice foam cutout. I like the way Thomas packages their razors. So let's miss the face and get into it today and see how it goes with our um, tallow and steel. This is not an inexpensive soap. Uh, this comes to you for $24 for four ounces, or excuse me, for three ounces. That is a painful on our cost chart, $8 an ounce. Woo! Not cheap by any stretch of the imagination, but we'll see if we enjoy it today. We think we will. Um, this executive knot has been working very well for me. Frank actually reached out to me yesterday to see how it was working. And I told him, I think it's dropped two or maybe three hairs since I've got it. I haven't had any problems at all with it. Um, it's been working, you know, quite well. For me, it is a dense knot. It is a hand-tied knot, or at least that's what they're called. So if that matters to you, you can check it out. Uh, I will, again, link this below. 
I saw a Shave 326 um, in his video the other day he had a sort of a plug come out of his brush. And I know Frank um, immediately offered to make that right. So you just can't beat that. So he stands behind his products, which I really like. And again, we have our lather running down the, the handle here. Didn't really have any problems lathering the, the tallow and steel. And in this bowl, very easy to make lather. And I like the fact that it has the uh, the handle right there. Uh, and so that, that to me is cool, although I've already got lather all <laughs> on the handle. So let's get going today so we don't have a super long video. Very nice. Timeless Slim Stainless Steel. This is made of 304 stainless steel. Very nice. Got some weight to it, obviously, because it's stainless. You, it does have good blade feel. So if you like blade feel, you might like it. But to me, it's not feeling rough. You definitely know it's cutting because you can feel some blade. Um, unlike the, the fine razor, we tried a, a while back the world's finest razor, they call it. I did not really care for that. It was far too mild. This one does not have that problem. <laughs> you can feel the blade, but to me, it does not feel threatening. Now, I want a caveat. I do prefer a little more blade feel in my razors. So if you're very sensitive to blade feel, you know, this this might not be a razor for you. I am not. I enjoy feeling the blade. I just don't want it to be rough. And so far, or at least in my shave yesterday, it was not. It was very nice, smooth, but you can feel the blade. And so for me, I like that feel back of feeling the blade on the skin doing the work. It's just my preference. But I know a lot of people prefer very mild. They don't want to feel much blade. So like a Feather ASD2 or something like that is more to their liking. So if you are firmly in the Feather ASD2 camp, this particular plate would probably not be for you because you're going to really feel some blade and it's got some good efficiency. And as I mentioned before, I've had these timeless uh, cloths for years. It's what I always have sitting down here and they work very well for me. Timeless makes everything they can possibly make in the United States or sources things that are made in the United States to the greatest degree possible, which I appreciate. I almost knocked my Tony <laughs> Dillette lather bowl in the sink there. Had no problems making a lather in this bowl. It is nicely designed. Again, 3D printed, which is cool. Uh, Marion was actually, Marion the Barbarian, once again, enabling me. He was the one that put me in contact with Tony. And so let me just go ahead and mention the giveaway, because we talked about it last night in the Real Talk. And if you haven't seen the Real Talk, I'll put it up on YouTube. So, in order to be entered for this giveaway, I'm going to direct you to a video made by the Dude of Shaving that we're having a lot of fun with. Because he, uh... He did a sort of a review on David, so sharp David's edge, straight razor edge. And it was funny because we all had a great time with it. He was like, it's sharp, but, and then he said, oh, it's tuggy, sharp, tuggy. <laughs> so he started calling it the, the sharp but tuggy edge. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, and I'm gonna link the video below. Go to that video and hashtag um, <clears throat> sharp but tuggy. I'll put it right here for you, all one word. Hashtag sharp, but tuggy. And at some point in the next couple of weeks, probably after Thanksgiving, I will announce in, in one of my videos, quietly, the winner. So you have to watch to win. And usually what I'll do when I announce a winner is I'll just say it in the video and give you like five days to claim it. No one claims it, we'll draw another person because we really want to try to reward the viewers that are here regularly and again the executive not there from strike gold shave still holding up very well for me even with these uh the tony dillette bowl has some pretty aggressive ridges in there and uh didn't even drop a hair so um i guess the one i have is really uh frank has done a good job on it very dense very soft in the tips um nice knot executive knot and that name was, uh, we had a contest in, on Real Talk, and he, uh, Executive Knot, was the winner. 
And uh, so he gave away one of the executive nuts, which was cool. I'm already going against the grain, so I'll go across the grain on the, the next pass. So again, on the cheeks for me, against the grain is this way. Across the grain is this way. On the neck, against the grain is this way. And so I don't go that way, as I've mentioned before. And I got a lot of feedback when I mentioned that on my video that there are other people who sort of chase VBS and they sometimes go too far and get irritation. I don't do that. I just have a certain amount of feel and I know when I, my neck has had enough. And so at a certain point, I'll just quit going over it. And I will have what's known as a DFS shave or darn fine shave which means it's not 100% baby butt smooth, which is what BBS is. We use these terms or acronyms or whatever you want to call them a lot, and we don't explain what they are. So BBS means baby butt smooth. And by that we mean you can't feel anything, you can't see anything. And then the, the next level, um, one level down, is darn fine shape, which means looks good, can't really feel much, but maybe it's not completely smooth as a, a, a pane of glass or something. And so what I shoot for on the neck is DFS because attempting to get BBS requires me going across the grain or excuse me, against the grain. And that just doesn't work out. And so if something doesn't just flat doesn't work for you and you continue to do it, that's on you. <laughs> it's not on the razor. It's not on the brush. It's not on uh, anybody but you if you're doing things that your face doesn't appreciate because some people simply cannot go against the grain. Now, I have found there were certain razors I could, for, for whatever, whatever reason, I could go uh, against the grain with the one blade, which I don't have anymore, but I could, which was pretty odd. For most razors, I cannot, and so I just don't bother because it's not worth it. The idea here is to get a shave that when we when we walk away today, that we're feeling good about. This knot is so dense, it's absurd. <laughs> and so, as you know, I'm mostly a painter because I don't see any compelling reason to irritate my face. I don't do a lot of that scrubbing. It's just not my thing. If you do, and if you like it, that is entirely okay. But as I've been mentioning before, if you do that and you get irritation, just be mindful, it could be the breath. Um, up until recently, people had never really even considered that, a lot of folks. But it does happen. I remember um, just yesterday when I was talking about this, Lyle, the Sask Shaver, had mentioned that he was in fact experiencing irritation. He thought it was the blade, the razor, the soap, and then he came to find out it was the brush. <laughs> well, it wasn't the brush in particular, it was just face lathering. It was too vigorous too long. Your face, most people's face, can only tolerate so much. And I know there's a gentleman named Shady that commented yesterday, hello Shady, that he's never really experienced brush burn. And I said, if you really want to experience brush burn, and I don't think you should, <laughs> I'm just going to be clear, get yourself a very uh, high backbone brush and lather, face lather on your face two or three soaps back to back. So in other words, take a soap, do a complete lather with it, take it off, grab another one, make a complete lather with it, take it off, and make another one. And, and I'm talking about from start to finish. So you're gonna rinse your brush out completely, make another lather, rinse it out completely, make another lather. And if you do that two, three, four times, by the time you're done with that third or fourth, or depending on your skin, it may be even second time, you're gonna feel that fatigue on your face. You'll start feeling the irritation because yes, the brush absolutely can and will irritate. Now that obviously some people have more tolerance for that than others. So please keep that in mind. But um, I remember years ago, I used to get, when I would get an order of soaps, I'd be so excited. I would lather a bunch of them back to back just to see how they lathered and, and take in the scent. And sometimes they even shot it on video. And I'm telling you what, after the third or fourth one, my face would be red <laughs> and irritated. So you learn over time, just don't, you know, 
there's a certain amount of strokes, there's a certain amount of scrubbing you can tolerate. And once you get beyond that, you're in the red zone, literally. So I haven't spoken a lot about the razor today. Magnificent. I really like it. I like the blade feel. I like the fact that it feels efficient and yet smooth. And so for me, this is a winner. Now these are not inexpensive as I mentioned um, yesterday. These, these are definitely in the premium market. The safety bar version is uh, $85. The open comb version, which requires a lot more work to make, $105. The good news is if you already have a timeless razor, you can just get the plate. And so I'm so glad that they didn't, uh, as I mentioned before, create this new plate and then require you to get a new top cap because sometimes companies do that. Timeless did not. So thank you, Timeless, for that. <laughs> All right. Um, that was actually a really nice shave. And so let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right. And we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. And this is just Thayer's Cucumber Witch Hazel. Again, just put in the spray bottle, and I will have links to all these products below, in addition to the giveaway link. You must go to the video, which I will mention below, and hashtag, put it right there again for you, sharp but tuggy, and you can win this Tony Dillette 3D printed bowl, which is fantastic. Lightweight, nice aggressive ridges inside, really, really nice. I really liked it, so thank you, Tony, for the bowl and for the giveaway. Um, again, I'll announce this in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned to the channel for that. And if you want one of these bowls, if you want to purchase one, I will have the information below, his Google form and his email address. So you can grab one of these. He's got many colors. So, I mean, if you like a particular color, just hit him up. All right. Today we use the Timeless Stainless Steel Slim Edition. 304 stainless steel, laser engraved on the bottom. Magnificent. This was a beautiful shade. I will take this with me when I'm travel, use it some more and give more feedback on it. But I've been really happy with uh, both plates efficient, but not rough for me. So very happy with that. Today we used the Tallow and Steel Classic 2, pricey, but quite good, great scent. Scent strength was about six, I wanna say. I was very happy with it. We used our Strike Gold Shave, Executive Knot on the Craving Shaving, um, what I call the Red Planet handle, and that was excellent, again, um, my knot has held up very well. I use it a lot of times for head shaves off cam. Um, I've dropped maybe three hair in total. I've got probably, I want to say in the neighborhood of six to seven uses on it. Right now, maybe if, um, maybe eight, I'm not sure. We're going to finish off today with the Tallow and Steel Classic 2 Splash, which was sent to me by Chris Garcia. Thank you very much, Chris. This is very milky in appearance. Can you see that? And we'll slap it on. And that's, this is a nice scent, I must say. I really like this. Now, would I pay $8 an ounce for it? Nope. <laughs> nope. But it is a nice scent. I would not buy it myself because for me, um, just quite frankly, the, although I like the scent, it's not good enough for me to spend that kind of money for it. That's just me. If you like it, um, fantastic. I'm not saying you shouldn't, but for me, would I buy this? Nope. Too much. <laughs> I draw the line somewhere, but you know. That's how it is. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget, Tony Dillett bowl giveaway. And don't forget the information below if you're interested in purchasing. And, of course, don't forget our friends at Timeless. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And, as always, God bless.